All right, guys, I'm here at our test tank, and I wanted to give you a quick intro for starting off what you need to make changes to your controller and the app so that you can drive easily, fly easily in the water. Basically, what we're going to do is make this so it operates kind of like an aerial drone in mode two, where the left stick is ascending and descending, yaw left, yaw right. The right stick is going to be forward, backwards, left, and right. So two things you need to do. One is this button right here, the line with the two arrows. You need to light that up. This will keep the drone, say, if you set it three feet underwater, it's going to keep it at three feet underwater. As long as you're moving the right stick, you just go in different directions. It's not going to change the elevation. You would use the left stick to go uh, down to, say, three feet, five feet, whatever you put it at and then it'll stay there and hold level. Kind of like your drone, when you fly it up in the air, it stays at, say, 10 feet, and it just sits there and waits for you to do inputs. The other area that you need to change is the remote. And you click on this cog, you click on the remote button icon here, and you wanna make sure in you're in UAV USA. I think by default, this is gonna be in uh, ROV China or ROV USA. Don't operate those. They will confuse you if you're used to driving the drone, uh, any other aerial drones around. But one thing you got to make sure is you got to click on the UAV USA. You have to click sure. If I change this, say, to ROV here, where it does other things, and I don't push sure, um, it's just going to default back. So if I go back and I come in here, it's still un under the USA and it says it right there, USA. So I hit that, I click sure, and now this thing's gonna operate just like it would for a drone, which is pretty cool. So give me a second, I'm gonna put this in the water. All right, I dropped the drone in the water, and I'm gonna give it a start here. Now it's sitting on the bottom, I can come up a little bit, I can move forward and left and right. And then y'all left, y'all right. If I want to go down, I can go down a little bit. This is pretty shallow, or I can go up. And then on the back side of this remote is a wheel right here. And using this wheel, I can go down or up. And even if I'm at that, now normally you'd think, oh, this thing's going to uh, uh, go backwards into the ground or forward. But if I have this light right here locked on, it stays at that level. It doesn't matter what, what I'm pointing at. So, anyways, that's an intro to the V6 series. And this is specifically the V6 Expert. I hope this helps you out.